Hi there everybody, it's Housie from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am using this Guarding Impressions Designer Series paper which I fell in love with. And this is the pattern I'm going to use today and I thought I'd try and make it into a box. I haven't got one to show you because I'm, I'm working on it now. Um, so I've just grabbed some things off my desk and I'm going to make this through with you without showing you a prototype so I don't know what it's going to turn out like I think that's quite exciting so it's a six by six designer series paper pack as I said this is the one that I've chosen to use there are quite a few gorgeous designs later hand can I grab them for you they are let me just show you which designs you get you get four of each of these designs so abstract and cute of course they're all double sided as well how beautiful are those but this was the one I decided to use today and it's got shaded spruce which is one of our new colours in this is the cardstock to go with it so I'm going to open that up and do the base of my box and get started on it so I think I'm going to do a 4x4 four four box I might do it I might do it a 5x5 five five box what am I thinking four by four box I think so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my school board because I want this bit to be the top I'm just going to flip it and put it in that way and I'm going to go round at an inch on each side okay and that's all the scoring done on the paper for the cardstock, I'm just going to run and cut this down. But I'll only be behind me, my guillotine's there. This is 6x6, six six, so I'm going to do this at 5 and 11 twelfth by 5 and 11 twelfth. You just want it a slight bit smaller so it fits in. I'm not using my trimmer because I have ordered some new blades but I wanted to wait until the start of the month so I could order it with some new products so it's five and eleven eighths and I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to do it an inch an inch an inch and an inch like that My bone folder is nowhere to be seen, typical. So I'm just going to use a stamping block to, to do that. I know where my bone folder is. I was putting lots of my retired products onto eBay today. Um, if you want to have a look at them, I will leave you a link below with the details of my eBay because it's all my retired products that's gone on there. But I was cutting some of my leftover card down into card folds to go up. And uh, I use my bone folder for that. I did that at the other table because the light's a bit better. So I'm just going to go around like a fan now and tab in each side. I'm sure you've seen me do this many times before, so I'm just going to whiz through it quite quickly. Okay. You looked all through the catalogue yet have you come up with a favorite dsp i think my favorite dsp is going to be from the broadway bound suite i love that and it's a foily one as well so that one's on the way to the post for me with my cutting blades can't wait to get that i think i'll definitely be putting a video up of that next week because i fell in love with that as soon as i saw it so all you want to do is you just want to push around and close your box. You might be best with sticky strip for this, but I haven't got any to hand. So I'm just going to use my Tombow. If you still have some Fast Fuse, you can use that. I have put Fast Fuse up on my eBay today if you want it. So as I said, there is a link below. You can always go over and purchase some there. Oh, 
those together. And I'm going to cheat. I've got some retired. These are completely retired. You can't get them anymore, so don't like them. <laughs> Little binder clips. I'm just going to use those to put those together while they stick. If you've got any of our library clips, you could use those. We're not using them for a project. It's just so they all all stick really without me sitting here holding them. It's a problem with Tombow. I do like it because it's easy to manipulate, but it can be a bit of a waiting game with it. Let's just Oh, one of our gold library clips. There we go. That'll do the business. Right. While I'm waiting for those to stick down, I'm going to bring my DSP back in. Um, what I'm going to do with, I think I'm going to fancy label punch, I think. So that's that one. I'm going to see if I can make a pretty pattern. You might have to see it there on the bottom here so the shaded spruce shows through. So what I'm going to do is have a look yeah I'm gonna go halfway into my pretty label punch I'm just gonna punch that in there like that and I'm gonna do that on every side halfway and in the middle I'm just eyeballing this I haven't measured it at all so hopefully I'll, I don't mess up with it I'll tell you this side actually is quite quite pretty very subtle very pretty this is the new um, petal pink. Which colour is that, that one? Very nice. Quite a subtle, subtle one, but I'm planning on perhaps giving this box to my boyfriend at the weekend. It's his birthday, so I'm going to avoid the pinks and stick with the greens. I think that's where it's going anyway. Unless I like it, then I'm keeping it myself. Very selfish like that. So you don't need a bone folder for this. You can just fold this with your fingers. You don't want to be too rough with the paper. It's good quality paper, but you don't want to be really manhandling it. There we go. And I'm just going to do exactly the same. I'm going to cut that up. That. Create it into a little tab. But I'm just going to cut a little bit off there so that when I fold it over, you can't see it from where the die comes. I do that on each bit. If you like these papers, I am doing a paper share. You can join in. I've got one slot I think it is left. There is details about it both on my blog and on my YouTube. So just go and have a look. And you can get a quarter of each piece of um, Stampin' Up! DSP from the new catalogue. The designer series ones, not the in-colour ones. Um, for something like 37.50, I think it is. So it's a lot cheaper than buying it all together, which works out at £135 from, from memory. All right, so now I want to glue all of these pieces. I'm being really lazy. I'm using my fast fuse. I know it's retired. But you can use snail on this because it's DSP. You can use the sticky strip or you can use a Tombow. I would probably have been using the Tombow, but I don't want to have to do that again to make it stick. If I wasn't filming, it would be okay, but I'm, I'm obviously on a time schedule. And there we go. There is the lid of our box. So let's see if the base is stuck. It is. I'm just going to put that on there so it looks, looks straight. It didn't look straight on the desk because it obviously hadn't got any card to hold it up. And there is our box. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to decorate it. 
I've already checked the stamp sets out that I'm going to use and I'm going to use a Sitting Pretty stamp set. This is great. This was gifted to me by a girl in one of our teams, Stamping by Hannah. She gifted this set to me because I fell in love with the, the little pit bull over here. Not little pit bull, the bulldog. I think he's so cute. But this is a stamp I'm going to be using. Anywhere with you is better than anywhere without. I think that's quite a pretty one. I haven't worked out what colour I'm going to be stamping it on yet. I don't, I don't think a white works. A white work? Oh, I know, I know what I'm going to use. My new favourite colour. I've been looking forward to using that. Where is it? Gonna find where I've put my new favourite colour now. Soft sea foam, which is the colour that's just in the leaves there. I love this one. This is my favourite of all the new colours. I think it's so. I'm not gonna say it's it's feminine because I don't think it is a girly colour, but I think it's really, really clean and fresh. I, I like this colour, it's my I think it's my favourite, not just out of the new colours, out of all of them. Mind you, I like lovely lipstick, that's quite nice too. But this one. Okay. Let's get that stamped up. Blocked up. And what colour am I? I'm going to stamp you with shaded spruce, I think. Let me uh, find where I've put it. There we go. with you is better than anywhere without you so cute so cute there we go oh i like those two colors together that was a good call i like that i do like um playing with my stamp sets rather than having a pre-made card for you because i think we just discover it all together as to what i'm doing but Do I want the one and three quarter? I'm trying to work out how much green there was around that. You can do it with either, it fits both, but I am going to just stick with a two inch circle. Anywhere with you is better than anywhere without you. There we go. And the rest of my shaded spruce card. Left it in my guillotine. There we go. Is that enough? Hopefully. There we go. Oh, I am glad I did that. That's cute. We've got these gorgeous um, new pearloised, pearlized doilies. Do I want one of those? I think I do. Oh, I love that. Right, I've got some shaded spruce ribbon, which comes in this metallic ribbon combo. So that pretty petal pink that I showed you earlier, that's that one, metallic. And this is the green one. It comes together, and I think gonna double check I think it's from the same suite I don't want to get it wrong yeah it is the metallic ribbon pack it's eight pound 25 for two and when you think that most of the ribbons are between five and six for one it's really good value so I'm just gonna open that up it looks like a shoelace ribbon I think Oh no, it's not, it's a bit coarser than that, but there you go, I don't think you can see it. Nice metallic -y. I tell you, that will look lovely at Christmas, won't it? Just thinking out loud. Christmas, everyone seems to be doing Christmas stuff again at the moment, so. Right. What am I doing with this?
just trying to work out. I'm going around the edges. That's what I think I'm doing. So glue dot. Got my paper piercer handy? Probably not. No, I have. There it is. Grab myself a glue dot. Just going to fold that in half so it's the same width as the ribbon. I don't want any glue on the inside. Of my box. Just going to pop that there. I'm just going to stick the ribbon to it and run it round. Oh, I do love that. I keep meaning to do these as a Facebook Live, especially when I'm making something new rather than a, a project that I've already made and sampled, to do it as a Facebook Live with everybody. But I'm not really sure. Um, I've got more followers over on YouTube. Just see it. If you... Does anyone watch Facebook Lives? Are they successful? If you watch Facebook Lives and they're successful, will, will you let me know? Because I'm intrigued by Facebook Live. I'm a little bit scared of it as well, I think. YouTube is a bit different to, to Facebook. I'm not sure how I really feel about it. There we go. Anywhere with you is better than anywhere without you. Yeah, and I think I'm going to put my ribbon over there as well. So just where's the um, what Tombow would I want my fine tip glue pen? I think I want my fine tip glue pen for this. So I'm just going to blob a few dabs to make sure that this sticks. When you put it in a few places, by putting the sentiment on top, it should stick the, the doily down as it is. I never use fine tip glue as glue. <laughs> I use it for decoration so much more to make everything look 3D rather than using it as a, as a decoration. Let's just... of dimensionals on there to pop it up. There we go. Anywhere with you is better than anywhere with that. And I'm just going to make myself a hand bow. that down there like that. So I need a glue dot. More stuck to my hand than it did the ribbon there. Just there we go. I'm not sure what I'm gonna fill it with but I love it. And there is my little 4x4 four four pretty label box. Hope you like it and I hope you like the DSP. Pop over to my website for all the information and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.